Hello again, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Now in today's short lesson, I want to talk to you about the fear factor. I'm going to show you four positions. You can pause the video and work out your response. And afterwards, I will offer you some explanation as to the correct play. Now, a very common mistake that newer players make and even intermediate players is that they play too conservatively. They play too safely and do not take risks to improve their position. So hopefully these positions will demonstrate that sometimes you need to be a bit bolder in your game. So let's look at these positions and get started. Now, first position, White has a 5-3 to play. Now, the correct move is 24 to 21 and 13 to 8. Anything else would be an error or a blunder, as we can see on the left hand panel. Now, the first rule is that when your opponent has split his back checkers, there is a priority, an imperative to split your back checkers and fight for an advanced anchor also. Now, here you may want to safety the blot on the seven point, but it is better to keep the bar slotted because Green will have to sacrifice his anchor to hit you, which will give you many returns, and twos are also duplicated for Green. Also, you may consider making the three point, but by doing so, you would strip your eight point and then have fewer ways to make the bar. And also the three point loses value because it is a point behind Green's advanced anchor. So it's not really blocking anything. We like to make points in front to block, but here you're making a point behind his golden anchor. So it would lose value. So you keep the blot on the bar point here and do not worry about it. When green misses or chooses not to hit, you will then have sixes and ones to cover it on a subsequent roll and have a three point prior. Second position, white again has a 5-3 to play. Now what's noticeable first is a pip count and white is slightly down on the race and you do not want green escaping so you must hit with a three and then you can use a hit as a tempo to escape from the 20 point. This is a classic hit and run where you're also taking advantage of green being on the bar and the blot being in his board. Also after this play, fours and fives are duplicated for green to enter, green to cover his ace point and green to hit you on the 20 point. Now if green's ace point was made and he had a five point board, then it would still be correct to hit to stop green escaping in the race. But with the other number, we would play seven to two and simply hold onto our anchor for safety. Here at this uh, in this position with greens having a blotting board, we must hit and then play 20 to 15. And anything else would be a significant blunder. Now we have a 3-2 to play for white. Now the safe play, of course, is to pick and pass, to hit and cover. 6 to 4, 4 to 1, leaving no blots in your board. But that would be almost a blunder. It's much better to make the 4 point here. The 4 point is far more valuable than the ace point. And even if green enters and hits you back, you have the safety of the anchor. And white is also primed. He may find it difficult to escape that blot and then leave future shots. Covering the ace point is also wrong because it just allows green to enter on the five or four point and then escape. And we certainly do not want green to escape and us to be stuck back on the 20 point waiting for a shot later in the game or to be cubed. So here we make the better point and then we do not worry about the blot in board. Now, the last position is also a 5-3. How would you play this for white?
Now, the right move is 24 to 21 and 13 to 8. Anything else would be a blunder. Now, here it looks very scary to step up into the target zone of 11 green checkers. But you simply have to get those back men moving and your opponent only currently has a two point home board. Again, the rule of symmetry applies. When your opponent has advanced his back men, you must do the same. Otherwise, you're simply just going to get stuck and then regret not advancing those white checkers when you had the opportunity. So simply play more boldly over the board to try and improve your position. Do not be afraid. So there we are, four positions, some things to think about over the board. Good luck, see you next Wednesday. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.